Okay, y'all. Welcome to the first installment ever of Stovetop Stereo. Okay, now today we are showing a Gerard 40B stereo, which I have the operating instructions here. Da -da. You also get a contact information from me with my direct phone and email. So if you have issues during setup, what we're doing today is I keep um, <laughs> when I talk to different customers, um, um, I keep trying to promote kind of an upgrade in, in, in their listening because um, even though I'm not like the cheap audiophile, like the, um, what is this guy? Is this cheap speaker guy? This cheap audiophile who, who I like and I watch his show. Or, um, 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 and, and, you know, I'm not Skylab, um, but, um, I love them too, um, Kevin's bald. And so, so okay, today is, uh, Gerard 40B, and that was just a joke. Um, and what we're featuring today is some powered speakers with a phono preamp, and um, a vintage Gerard um, record changer with a um, Shure uh, magnetic cartridge. Okay, um, and you know part of the reason why I do I'm doing this stovetop stereo, so I don't have to worry about like my whole setup. And I have I have other players on, on my other two setups that like I ran into issues, and um, and we all have you know things in our daily life. And my main <laughs> computer is is saying, I don't have Bluetooth now. And I'm like, uh, okay. So, we are doing stovetop case. Stovetop stereo. Um, Alright, so, this is a really cool um, um, Gerard 40B. Um, and um, these are one by one speakers, which are exactly um, duplicates of the Best Buy Insignia which I used in previous, um, the 30 watts per channel, they're very decent, and they're perfect for the setup, um, that means, you know, even though I bought them new, um, I don't have to charge, I don't charge extra usually when I buy new speakers, but I just like the combination of a vintage item with, um, new speaker technology, um, because I think that you get so much out of it, um, with the right pairings, and, um, this is a, um, can, oops, can't hear. Um, phono preamp, and you know, I think they're all about the same. I, I've used Pile forever. Um, this is this Kinter was only like 20, bu 20 bucks. Um, so you got 20, and um, I don't know what the one by one speakers were, but I paid a hundred bucks for the um, Best Buy ones. And normally, you can get some really decent um, powered speakers for a hundred bucks. So, you know, there's your receiver and speakers right there. Um, and there's your connection to, you know, whatever record player you're using, right? whatever record changer or turntable, okay? So you don't need the receiver because you have your boost there. So, um, this, these, and most of them do, oops, um, has your volume, treble, and bass right here in the speaker. Um, all this, um, the preamp does is boost the power from the, like if you plugged it into a phono jack in a stereo, that's, that's powered. So anyway, so you got your turntable. It's connected to the ankle bone, the ankle bone's connected to the leg bone. Turntable is connected to the... Gerard has an interesting, um, or this, these, there's a couple series of Gerard that have it this um, thing where you don't have to tell it the size because the size is connected to the um, the speed here so like they have 13 7 if you have a 45 that's I mean 33 7 which is, if you have this, uh, 45 that's 33 speed which is not and um, or this mostly gonna be on the second one which is 33 12 inch which is your LPs then it has 45.7, which is the only choice. And I have a lot of 45s that are extended versions. So that's my only beef with these, because I, I do love them as far as um, 
what they offer and what they can produce. Um, it does have queuing, and then it has 78, and um, that's for 10 inch, okay? Which I'm fine with. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take the lock off. And, um, oh, best thing about it, you'll be styling if you can find it, is you have a remote. Okay, so when you power on the speaker, you have this little remote, and it has a standby mode, and it has, if you want to put it in the RCA, whatever's connected to the RCA jack in the back, which is the, the turntable connected to the um, preamp connected to, to the, the so ankle bones. That's that. The ankle and then bones connected to the auxiliary, leg which, bone. Um, they use the uh, like 3.5, the little one use for headphones a lot, um, and then Bluetooth, um, which is very cool. So, um, you can stream stuff through these speakers as well from like your phone. So if you wanted to make this your little record player music center, you could. Okay, and then also you can get the best sound out of your your vinyl, your records with the magnetic cartridge. Um, I do like um, ceramic cartridges in certain instances, and especially in, in combo players because the manufacturers build their amps to whatever player they um, attach to a combo unit. So that's why you don't have any issues. That's why the ceramics can sound so good in those. Um, but there are also ones that are higher end of the combo players that have magnetic cartridges. In that instance, the manufacturer puts a preamp inside so that you can experience the clarity of, of using a magnetic cartridge. Okay. So, um, you put it on, and I have it on the RCA jack, um, and you also, uh, and it says um, volume, you plus and minus, so it's really cool. It also says mute, which is the best part um, for me, because I never can mute it. So, here we go.
Happy birthday. Happy birthday.